I am Hatan. I greet you in the love and in the light of our infinite creator, whom we serve with all of our being. It is an immense privilege to be called to this group this evening. We ourselves have never had anything to tell you, for we in our turn are channels for that which is beyond our own frail understanding. That which we offer to you is offered through us, and only then through this channel. We can speak from no certainty, nor do we wish you to bear our words as a weighty burden. Listening to each word and pondering the meaning that may not seem accessible or acceptable to you at this time. With our thanks and our disclaimer aside, we would speak to you about a fair, a grand and glorious carnival, a bazaar in which all of the merchants display their wares and thousands come to try their luck and to view the excellence that people have made with their hands, and above all, to rejoice in the feeling of being part of a happy crowd. In a deep sense, this is part of the motivation for those who incarnate consciously and purposely upon the earth plane of your third density. You may have many lifetimes, but when you are not within a physical vehicle... It is impossible to remember that the carnival flags can flutter dismally, slowly and sadly, that pennants may be marred and broken, and that the machinery that governs the merry-go-round, the ferris wheel in all the rides, may not always work. As in many, many things, it looks easier in the mind to live an incarnation and to learn the lessons that you set for yourselves than it is to accomplish the plan you have made. Many of you are ambitious, and your life's plans have already caused you to experience a great deal of what you would call Pain, anguish, suffering, disappointment, and confusion. Let us stroll together out from the fair onto the street. It is a dark night. The fair is held in a poor section of the city. The chill in the air causes those who have no homes to bundle up against the cold in whatever they may have. You may find someone lying upon the sidewalk, lost in his drink or other intoxication. Shall you sit down and talk to the Creator now, or shall you pass him by? Shall you go back into the carnival and ride and wave your pennants and your flags and your prizes? It is a choice you make, my friends. Each day, in one way or another, for if you are open to hear the cries of those about you, you will rapidly become aware that there is no day in which the poor, the hungry, the homeless, and the spiritually wasted are not crying out to you personally, and so you have... A brightly lit carnival. And as you stroll through the gates, you find a dark carnival. Instead of flashing lights and fine clothes, you have the hand-fashioned rags of the hobo. Instead of the many rides, you have that liquor which intoxicates or that medicine which is used for obliviation rather than amusement. And what shall you do to be of service? There was one among you whom you know as the teacher, Jesus the Christ. This teacher chose the darker circus. Those to whom he reached for discipleship were poor folk indeed. A prostitute, a tax collector, a persecutor, and reviler. And yet... 
He walked into the circus with the bright and shining lights, the gaudy displays, the metaphysical rides. He got upon the merry-go-round and rode the Ferris wheel with those whose lives were bound up in that experience. Nor did he condemn any who so chose to live a life of gratitude and experiential gladness. He spoke in temples. His instructions were based upon a hard rule called the law. And all he did that was different from other teachers within this comfortable world in which the flags flew and waved so prettily was that he pointed out that the heart is more important than the law. Then he would walk forth into the streets and lift those from the gutter and pavement. Of the many, many stories that are narrated within your holy works, the one to which we would draw your attention is that one wherein the marriage couple awaits the guest for a great feast. When all do not show up, when seats remain empty, this teacher's instructions are simple. Go out into the streets and gather all that you can find, and yet, if they have not wedding garments, they may not come. We are aware, my friends, that you have been pulled from your carnival, your gaiety. We are aware, my friends, that you have been pulled from your carnival, your gaiety, and your joy to witness one who suffered, and to wonder, why? What can I do? We must leave that question with you. For this entity experienced both fairs, the light and the dark. Like most of you, he contributed all that he knew how to contribute. Like most of you, he became faced with a difficulty. Shall we then condemn those who lie in the gutter because they have not legs upon which to stand? Shall we sneer at the hungry because we have not given them bread? Shall we remove courage and dignity from the infinite and eternal spirit of the one who joined the darker carnival? It is your choice, my friends, and your polarity will surely be affected because of this choice. Far too much has been said about the virtue of caring for the underprivileged who find themselves in darkness. Far too little has been done. When is a spirit not worthy to be fed? When is nobility cut off from the loving kindness of the Creator? You are on a long voyage, my friends. The carnival shall end for you as it has for others in your physical death. And yet you as spirit shall be free to move ahead to your next experience. One thing only shall be required of you and that is that you shall review this experience. We ask you both to be easy upon yourselves and to be honest with yourselves. What has lain before you this day which you have not done to help another? What discipline of learning have you not sought because of pressing considerations that shall not survive your death? How can you be of service? This instrument once composed a short article in which this instrument envisioned the teacher known as Jesus coming back into the inner cities. He would sit down in the gutter, wrote this instrument, and take his peanut butter sandwich and break it, and it would be food enough for all who came to touch his consciousness with their own. Your daily bread is but a symbol, my friends, and we ask you to consider again and again the value of the 
allegorical and symbolical nature of what seems to be reality. Draw back and take the viewpoint of the eternal present. How can you love each other? How can you listen? How can you accept? How can you offer freedom to those who are you wearing another piece of clothing, another physical vehicle? We wish to encourage you to live in the realization that you shall leave this carnival of booths and prizes, rides and thrills, and you shall once again have a larger viewpoint. My friends, this is your chance. You have given it to yourself, and you undoubtedly feel at this time that you have perhaps bitten off more than you can chew in terms of processing the catalyst of your life so that you may be a true channel of love and of light and of service. Of course you have, my friends. This is the essence of the learning of the lessons of love. To take more than you can chew, and then to pray your way. To meditate your way. To contemplate, analyze, and cling to your way until strength is given you. Not from yourself, but through yourself. We urge you to do that which you feel to do, asking only that you center yourself daily in meditation and ground yourself in service to others. Let the flags fly, cheer the band on, ride your rides, be exhilarated and share the joy of consciousness, and when you walk out into the darkness of a cold and rainy street, Know that this, too, is a carnival full of joy and mystery. And find yourself behind the carnival masks that you may see in the gutter, just as you please yourself by seeing yourself as the graceful participants of a circus. If all things can become one to you, then you can become one with all things, and you shall have learned the greatest lesson, and you may turn to all those whom you meet and say, I shall meet you in paradise. For the realization of that oneness is the most powerful realization in third density. Rejoice, therefore, and love one another. Celebrate with one another. Share that which you have and that which you feel. And look when you walk out into the sleet, the cold, the frost, and the stench of a hobo's fire on a bad weather night. Offer your jacket, your hat, your food, your substance, insofar as you are able, with gladness at heart and a singleness of mind. See the Creator, and so shall the Creator see you. We drench you in our love as if it were a waterfall. It is our great, great joy to have spoken with you. And we now leave this instrument, thanking each who responded to our conditioning and assuring each that each may or may not choose to channel, as does this instrument, that each is equally able and equally valued. This instrument merely has more time, as you call it, to have learned the tuning mechanisms, the challenging mechanisms, and the trick of emptying the mind so that we may fill it when this instrument does not know what we are to say. No sentence this instrument has said this evening has been known to her beforehand. There are many, many other services just as important. We are here only to inspire, never to instruct. 
Your instructions shall come from within you. We ask you to join us in the kingdom which you call heaven daily. That is, to listen to that universal self which is you, and to experience and come to know that which is yours, that which has been given to you to do. For first, to serve yourself, and then to serve one man, then service to all. I am known to you as Hatan. We thank Latwi and Leetos for aiding us in the conditioning. We thank a great teacher known to us as Amira for lending an energy that feeds into this particularly powerful group this evening. We give thanksgiving and we praise each of you. May your hearts rejoice and be merry, for you are yet able to love and be loved, to care and to accept nurturing, to reach out and to enfold, to experience, in short, the carnival of third density illusion, that grand illusion with many, many mirrors, all of which give you a distorted picture of the one original thought. Meditate, my friends, and allow the distortions to fall away. I am Hatan. I leave you in the love and the light of the infinite creator. Remember always that your peanut butter sandwiches, like fishes and loaves, are in infinite supply for those who wish never to hunger again. Break them and give them, for it is an infinite universe. Adone, my friends. Adone, Adone. I am Hatan. Love you.